Jeez, it's been 21 years. The world was a different place in 1990. The first McDonald's opened in Moscow, Mandela was let out, the New Zealand Navy stopped handing out daily rum rations, Windows 3.0 was released, and the Middle East was coming undone just as Germany was getting it together. Photoshop version 1 had just been released. It was the start of the glory years for Abadobe and the design of digital type. Tim Berners-Lee came up with a couple of reasonable ideas like the World Wide Web to make porn easier, not to mention HTML and the concept of web addresses. Even the greatest oak tree was once a little bellend. And so it was that Tim Bright and Ian Newland set up a small design agency called Bright Newlands & Associates, or BNA, on the terrace in Wellington. Within a couple of years, Tim and Ian were joined by Christine Arden and Grenville, Maine. Soon after, Caroline Vise also joined the company. She favours the same hairstyle to this day. In 1993, Grenville and Christine bought the business off Tim and Ian. And since the BNA acronym no longer worked, a new name was required. This was a scientific process. Mm, BNA, BNA, BNA. How about DNA? Sounds good. Done. Graphic design basics, identities, annual reports and brochures were our bread and butter for clients like Telecom, Solid Energy, Formway, BNZ, AMP, Trustbank and National Bank. Uh, oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, it's either this show or indigestion. I hope it's indigestion. Why? It'll get better in a little while. This is what design agencies did. And then, one day in 1995, Telecom asked us for something called a website, and DNA delivered one. We were just ahead of the curve, but it was a new curve. Right around this time, we met the guy who owned Formway, one of our clients. We closely worked with Noel, and the torrid affair would turn into a marriage before we knew it. Noel brought a perspective and an approach which still infects the DNA you see today. The amount of work DNA was doing with government was increasing for departments like ACC and Child, Youth and Family, and we were getting a reputation for delivering truly outstanding work. Foresight and curiosity are in DNA's DNA, but ultimately our clients drag us into new areas and make us what we are. Something that had been apparent for some time was the opportunities for DNA in the Auckland market. The realisation became a reality early in the new millennium with the opening of DNA Auckland. The Auckland client roster soon included NZTE, Unitech, UDC, Tower, Yellow Pages and of course Telecom. And the growth saw the team head downtown to move up to the top floor of the Ferry Building, where many great parties have since been had. And can whoever vomited in the lift that time please now own up? Clearly, Grenville was power dressing less by this point. And while this was great, in later years when he started turning up at meetings without shoes, some pined for the days gone by. DNA was changing from the people who responded really well to a tight brief to the people who would solve big gnarly problems. While DNA was constantly evolving, new streams were added to support the strategic brand offer, including insight, customer touchpoint optimization, retail design, and persona development. These are real words. You can find them in any dictionary. We started to see trends emerging in the challenges our clients were facing. But at the same time, there were few other outfits that could creatively solve these problems. Once again, our clients are shaping the way we need to be. And so we find ourselves in 2011. Today, we're almost 60 people across two offices working with over 60 clients. The common thread is a passion for what we do and an insatiable curiosity. We believe accelerating technological advance, generational, social and demographic change will radically and rapidly alter the way our clients connect and transact with their customers and communities. Such acceleration of change can't be predicted. What we do is try to remain open. We're looking forward to the ride and hope you'll join us. Happy bloody birthday.